Hey, good morning, guys. It's Sunday. I hope you had a good week. Uh, my week was, um, it ended good, um, but it started off kind of a mixed bag. Um, it, I don't know, it was kind of a blah beginning. Um, and then uh, my physical therapy, I'm not sure if I've shared this with you guys yet, but I somehow injured both my knee and my shoulder um, just from, you know, doing a lot of stuff and then doing nothing and then trying to do a lot of stuff. It's been sort of back and forth, but my physical therapy has finally started to feel like it's doing something, um, which has been a big blessing, and I'm really grateful to God for that. Uh, and then later in the week, uh, I guess it was Friday, Thursday, um, I actually ran into um, a couple people from church um, on accident at the park, and even though I wasn't in like a good spot, I was, I was really concentrating before I saw them. I didn't even recognize them until they called out my name. Um, it was really great to see them and uh, talk to them from, from a far distance, but still still get to see them. And I wish I'd been in a better spot then. But ever since then, I've been feeling more of an upswing, which is good. Um, but today I'm going to talk briefly about Joshua. And I'm not going to go too into depth and go too far into the big God story. I'm going to try and find another video to share with this video because uh, I want to make this one shorter and uh, get, get that shared a different way. Uh, but we're going to talk about Joshua. And after Moses died, God gave Moses some very specific instructions. Um, and these, these verses have been um, helpful to me this, this last week. And so I wanted to touch on them, even if I don't get through the rest of the lesson. And this is what God's instructions to Moses were. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the lands I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Be strong and courageous. What amazing words to hear from God. For God to, to tell Joshua this must have been really cool, because Joshua was about to do something really hard. He was going to finish what Moses started. He was going to take over for this great leader and lead the Israelites to the promised land and take it for the Israelites. I do not envy that job. Moses, the guy that freed the Israelites from slavery and led them across the Red Sea, uh, brought the Ten Commandments down from the top of Mount Sinai. Now you, you have to follow that. But God chose Joshua, gave him these words to be strong and courageous, and then explained to him that if he studied these instructions, meditated on them, and followed everything in them, did everything God told him to do, he would prosper and succeed in everything he would do. I want to always be strong and courageous. It's something that I hope that I do really well, even though I know that sometimes I mess that up. I'm not always as strong as I should be. I'm not always as courageous as I should be. And I'm not saying that I should never get scared. Being scared is fine. That's not what courage is. It's not, courage isn't not being scared. It's doing things in spite of being scared of them. And I hope that I am those things. I don't always feel strong. I don't always feel courageous. But I hope that I can do that. That's one of the things that I want to be. I really like Joshua. I want to be like Joshua. Um, he had to take over for Moses. He had to do these really difficult tasks. And he was, his role wasn't to be this, necessarily this military commander. Like he had lots of military victories. He was very strong and courageous. But God wanted him to be someone that studied his word and followed his commandments. And that's what I want to do. Am I always perfect at it? No. But like Joshua, I can read these words, and I did this week, telling me to be strong and courageous, 
and I can take that to heart. Because while my life is not as hard as the Israelites had it, like they, they went through so many hardships to get to this point. They'd been enslaved for 400 years. Uh, they had been wandering the desert. Uh, it's just, it's been kind of a mess for them. They were worried about a lot of things. But God never forgot about them. He never left them. And he always came through. He always honored his covenant. And we can take that to heart and realize that God hasn't changed. He's not going to leave us or forget about us or be like, oh, I'm just not going to worry about them this week. He loves us so much. And because of that love, because God wants to take care of us, we can be strong and courageous. I hope you have a good week. I'm going to pray. Um, be sure to watch the video that I find about them crossing the Jordan River to learn a little bit more about the beginning of Joshua being in command of the Israelites, leading them into the promised land across the Jordan. This week, I really want you guys to think about how God being unchanging, always loving you, can make you strong and courageous? What can you do because God wants you to be strong and courageous that you don't think you could do by yourself? I have no idea what that is. I hope this week to find out what I can do when God helps me be strong and courageous. Um, I look forward to hearing your stories. Thanks. Have a good week. Heavenly Father, thank you for being unchanging and loving us. I pray that you will Help us be strong and courageous this week. Show us what you want us to do. Help us to follow your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.